I really didn't want to have to make this video. I seriously did not want to have to make this video. But given the circumstances I've been under lately, YouTube has left me no fucking choice but to make this video. I'm sorry in advance, by the way. This is going to be pretty unfiltered, and I've never really uploaded anything this unfiltered before. But in order for me to get my fucking point across, it has to be like this. Because I've seriously just about have had it with this shit. So a few weeks ago, I've made a video. This video right here, you know, from the Sonic 2 movie. Where I played the dance, you know, the dance battle scene from Sonic, you know, where they danced to Bruno Mars. And instead of playing Uptown Funk, like in the movie, I took out all the audio from the movie and made it play Studiopolis from Sonic Mania instead. The reason why I uploaded this video was out of love for Sonic fans, giving them what they want. And since, objectively speaking, it fell under fair use from having pretty much the entire footage of the movie being vastly altered by the music, having none of the audio from the movie be played at all, and the footage itself being only a minute and a half long, I personally thought it was okay to share that and get my message across. As much as I thoroughly enjoyed the Sonic 2 movie, I liked it a lot, I had an absolute blast with it. Having more Sonic music being played throughout was one of the few things I personally wanted the most from the film. And this was basically my message for it. And you know, the video is actually doing surprisingly well for the first couple days after I uploaded it. I mean, yeah, 500 views in two days might not seem like much, but to me that was Impress I'd never get 500 views in two days. That's I mean for me. That's almost unheard of and I was really happy to see how well my video was doing during that time Until it got blocked worldwide of course knowing that my video falls under fair use I sent a dispute and a few days later my video was viewable again as you could see It was like blocked around here because you could see the sudden decline and after it became public again You know it started getting more views until it got blocked worldwide again. This time I really fucking tried writing an even more detailed dispute explaining everything about my case. Here, I'll, I'll even pull up what I wrote for my dispute so you guys can know what I said. Feel free to pause here if you want to read it. I was really hoping that at this point Paramount would understand and would finally stop targeting my video. And it is Paramount, by the way. This isn't because I'm playing Studioopolis. The copyright owners straight up say that Paramount blocked it. Well, unfortunately, now that I'm making this video, it pretty much gives away that Paramount still still doesn't. And now they're planning to take down my video in a few days, and there's pretty much nothing I can do about it except cancel my appeal and have no one see my video ever again. I know that some of you are probably going to say that I shouldn't care about this, that I shouldn't care about one video being taken down. And yeah, you have a point there. I've already made a bunch of videos in the past, and some are definitely doing far better than this one is. Or did, technically. And the thing is, I'd actually be able to come to terms with this pretty easily if my video for some reason wasn't considered fair use. The problem is, though, is that it 100% fucking is. And the fact that so many other Sonic 2 movie videos are getting hundreds of thousands of views by doing the exact same fucking thing that I'm doing, and none of their videos are being taken down, despite neither of mine, being nearly as popular makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. And it really pisses me the fuck off that I have to be the one who suffers in the end. I only wanted to share my love with Sonic fans by putting this video out there. By giving them Sonic music in an actual Sonic movie. It's not even the whole movie, it's only one scene that's only 1 minute and 30 seconds long. While other Sonic videos that are much longer clock around 2 or even 3 minutes of showing Sonic 2 movie footage. Even playing audio from the movie, which my video doesn't even fucking do, and their videos are okay? I'm sorry, I just have to do this. I really didn't want to have to throw other people under the bus. But this is the only fucking way I can get my point across. These people are gonna probably hate me for doing this, but honestly I don't even fucking care anymore at this point. Because what Paramount has been doing by deliberately targeting me, only while others are doing the exact same thing, and thriving scot-free, is not okay. And it will never be okay. Either none of us hold accountability, or all of us hold accountability. So I have no regrets showing other examples of my video. Because it needs to be done.
The first example I'd like to show is from someone I really don't like throwing under the bus, and honestly, I don't even know if I am. His video has actually already been blocked once before, and I have no idea whether or not Paramount has planned to take it down. But if it's not, then I'm sorry. It, it absolutely deserves to be. And not just because of the fact that compared to my video, this one is 30 seconds longer, showing nothing but Sonic 2 movie footage. It's not even edited. Look, there, there's no cuts. It's literally just the entire snowboarding scene. It's not, it's not edited in any way. But if you watch this video, he plays audio from the movie for the entire duration of the video. I mean, sure, he plays Sonic music over it, but the audio from the film is still there, which is certainly far less the case of fair use than my video that's much shorter and plays little to no audio from the movie. Am I wrong? He's probably gonna hate me now for doing this, but it's what I stand by, and I know what I'm doing is right. Because either none of us hold accountability, or all of us do. I will not be the only target if this is the side that Paramount has chosen. I simply refuse. Here's another example though, uploaded by a person I have absolutely no problem throwing under the bus at all. This is someone, in my opinion, whose account should have been taken down a long fucking time ago and still deserves to be. This person has actually violated the terms of fair use on many occasions. However, this account is still up and running, and it will never cease to bewilder me. Let's take a look at some of these videos, though, that, you know, are similar to mine. Oh, these are, these are really good examples. As you can see, this person has done another version of the last person's video, with the ice cap music playing in the background. It even has a longer length than the last one. And just like the one I mentioned before, if you go and watch the video, it still has the audio from the movie, and there's no edits at all. It's completely unedited. Just playing the ice cap music all over the snowboard scene, which is much longer than the dance battle scene. And then you have videos playing Sonic music over them from this person that are as long as three fucking minutes of Sonic 2 movie footage while still fucking playing audio from the film and everything. It's not even unedited either, it's just the entire fucking final battle scene from the Sonic 2 movie. Nothing has changed, it's, there's no edits. <laughs> and it gets hundreds of thousands of views for doing the exact same thing I'm doing and getting away with it. Do you see the problem here? Do you see why I have such a big fucking issue with this? This video is twice as less friendly to fair use than mine is. There's even other unedited videos with the audio from the movie, playing Sonic Heroes over it. So I ask you one question, Paramount YouTube, whoever the fuck blocked my video, how is my video different from anyone else's? Why the fuck should these videos be allowed to be viewed, but mine isn't? What is so wrong with my minute and 30 second video that, that literally plays none of the audio from the movie? It's all just Studiopolis. Why is my video different? Answer me this one question. Why is it different? Because I want to fucking know. This is by far the most fucking biased copyright system that I've ever seen. And I do not stand for it. I deserve better. We deserve better. Whoever's like falling victim to this shit, we deserve better. This type of discrimination when it comes to fair use is not okay. Either none of us hold accountability or all of us do. Pick a fucking side, YouTube. Pick a fucking side. That's pretty much all I have to say about this. I think I've already gotten my point across. Some people are probably not going to like how I got it across, but I just had to do it that way. And I have absolutely no regrets. Honestly, I don't even fucking care anymore. I'll try re-uploading the video in whatever way I can and put it in the description of this video if it's still up so you guys can keep watching it. Because I'd still like for my video to be viewed somehow, even if it means no one's gonna fucking watch it at this point. Whatever, my other Sonic video's doing better anyway, and it still hasn't gotten blocked yet. That's fine by me, I guess. I really hope it stays that way, but honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised at this point. Also, a quick update. Expect the first half of my Spider-Man movie review to be uploaded sometime around the end of the summer. It's actually coming along very well, and I've really tried putting a lot of effort into getting it out there, with the free time that I now have. So please stay tuned for that, I'm really looking forward to uploading that video.
All that's left to say is, fuck you, Paramount. Fuck you.